Hey guys, this is Troy with Cleveland.com here with our latest installment of The Stalking Dead, our video recaps and previews of AMC's hit show, The Walking Dead. Now, if you have not seen the latest episode of The Walking Dead, you're gonna wanna turn this video off and go away because we got some spoilers ahead. Now, when we left last, our survivors from The Walking Dead, Rick's group was struggling a bit to understand who Aaron was, our newcomer and recruiter from the Alexandria Safe Zone. Rick decided to trust Aaron, and now the group has embarked on the journey for the Alexandria Safe Zone, arriving there at the end of our last episode of The Walking Dead. Now, besides Aaron, we were also introduced to his boyfriend, Eric, another recruiter from the Alexandria Safe Zone, and internet went wild because they are a couple. So we have our first gay couple introduced on The Walking Dead. Very interesting storyline there. But another key aspect of the episode was Rick's inability to trust just about anyone. In fact, before they entered the Alexandria Safe Zone, he hid a gun in a blender by an abandoned house just in case things go wrong. Now looking ahead, you're going to want to know what exactly is the Alexandria Safe Zone. Now fans of the comic books know that it is the most predominant place in the comic book. In fact, if you're all the way caught up on Robert Kirkman's origin story, you know that they're actually still at the Alexandria Safe Zone. A lot of things happen there, but more importantly for the show, we're gonna be introduced to several new characters. And another storyline that might come up is a romantic interest for Rick, so look out for that. Also, we haven't seen much on a few of the characters such as Carol and Carl heading into this Alexandria Safe Zone episode, so I expect that the show's gonna focus on them a little more. Now, the last thing I wanna talk about is recent news that the season finale for season five, which takes place on March 29th, will be extended from 60 minutes to 90 minutes. So what does this mean? Well, obviously there's gonna be more show time. When the show extends itself 30 minutes, I expect something major to happen. Most likely we're gonna see one or more of the characters die. My best choice is Noah, because his actor is leaving for another show as we reported earlier in the season, but also we might see the arrival of Morgan, who's been teased at a few times, and my favorite character from the comic book, the villain Negan. We might see some signs of him, but I'm not quite sure. All that we'll talk about going forward. We still got a few weeks left for season five. Until then, enjoy this season, guys, and we'll be back next week with another edition of The Stalking Dead.